Bob a bag you It's your boy I'm a pro Can I make my walking go What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 7 video. It's your boy Vortex Chaos and today we are going to be checking out the S14 that has just come up in the specialty dealer once again for the second time. I have just purchased it again because, well, why not, right? Uh, if you guys are wondering about the color scheme, don't worry, I'll get into that later on once we start upgrading. Uh... You know how I normally do the upgrading with the music? Yeah, I'm going to start the music. Oh, I'm going to start the music after I explain something in the body kind of visualization kind of stuff. Uh, I'll explain what we will be doing in this video. Uh, it's a little more different than the usual S14s, I guess. But I don't know. I personally enjoy the style a lot more than the Rocker Bunny kit that they have in the game. So, I mean, without further ado, let's just get into this. Uh, now real quick, once again, as I said, yes, I do love the Rocker Bunny kit. I, I love this kit, but I don't know, just for the style that I really enjoy about drifting, I don't like it that much. Uh, I wish the body kit glitch was somehow implemented into this game, or if there is a way to do it, please let me know, but if, at the moment, I haven't seen any. Uh, if I was able to just change the front bumper and rear bumper... Body kit would be amazing, but for this video we are going to be doing something completely different from the norm that I've normally been stuck to And we're gonna put an actual proper body kit on this car. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I think I'm gonna go for the Sea West um, Yeah, I mean most of these kits were in Forza 4, which is just amazing. Uh, I might just go for that Yeah, I mean I mean the very very cool thing is, is that once the Forza wing is really nice two this is an adjustable wing and three you can have no wing which is really cool I mean sucks that this isn't actually not really this is more of a eh. uh yeah rice not gonna lie I mean it's a bit whatever um yeah you can have this spoiler uh, I forgot what it's a part of but yeah you can have that wait is there a doula kit oh there is but the front bump is really ugly so I'm not gonna go for that I'm going for this spoiler because as I said earlier uh we actually I didn't mention this um Pretty much for this, we're going- I think the Bombix kit is new. I don't know. Either way, uh, for this video, we're going to be doing a different style, like I said earlier, and we're going to go for a Japan kind of root- grass root drifting Japan style of S14, I guess. I don't know, it's just something different that I haven't really seen much of on YouTube. For some reason, nobody's really doing these. I don't know why, but I personally prefer this style. I don't know, I like- I love the style of cars, I guess. Just like the get whatever body panels onto the car, it doesn't matter the color. Yeah, I could have gone to design with the different front fenders and all that. But I left it pretty basic just because, you know, just different rims. Plain white rims, yellow car, red wing mirrors, and a black wing. Just something a bit different, I guess, to spice up the drift scene in Forza. Maybe start something. Maybe get people to start doing this again, because nobody's really done this in a while, I'll be honest. At least that's just from what I'm seeing. I haven't seen anyone do it on YouTube just yet, which is a bit disappointing. I want some really white rims, like ones that appear white, not just like that are white. I want them to look white. I might go for these actually. This is different. Uh, I mean, I assume in Japan they wouldn't have had these kind of rims. I assume it would have just been like these. What were these? Ah, uh, where are they? These ones and then like Quipo ones and that kind of stuff. Ah, eh, I'm gonna go for these though. Uh, make him... Let's make him this. Okay, well, now that I've spoken enough, I'm going to start up the music, and hopefully you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys once we're in the hoppers, or once... Yeah, once we're done in the... Once we're in the hoppers. <laughs> Yo! You like to hurt yourself, don't you? You know you gon' feel the dirt one day and it's perfect Cruising on the biggest wave when you know it ain't certain They say why he play the game, man, his fam don't deserve this And the music that he's saying ain't from his own country Or pocking them saved him when he was 12 Writing poems with his grandma's 22 Casio History repeats itself, but really it's nature Just that spark that Rob Williams went to the grave with Hit me with waves, pouring right down on your face You're fucking high the curtain all right, I mean, we're in the hoppers screen now. As you guys can see, nothing's really changed in here. It's kind of all the same shit. I mean, Unlimited Drag came out a bit ago, I guess. But besides that, there's really nothing. So let's just 
go into this. Hopefully, get into a good lobby. I mean, yeah, I know the card doesn't have that much offset and all that, but at this point I don't really care. I just still really love the style that I was going for. So I don't really, you know, it's offset, it's turn 10, they're not really going to throw that kind of stuff in, unless it's a proper body kit, I guess, but besides that, it's never going to come in. Uh, I reckon the car looks pretty cool, I mean, yeah, different fenders, maybe, different colored fenders, would have been nice, but, oh, and a lot of offset is needed, but, eh, whatever. So, I mean, I'm just going to wait. So, see you guys once this actually begins. Alright, we're getting into it now, which is really nice after waiting, like, a while. Uh, we're going to Virginia, which is an interesting track to go drifting around, because it's such a tight and compact track, with the tight chicanes and whatnot. Should be cool. I mean, I think, if I remember correctly, Ryan Turk and Chris Forsberg came drifting on this once on Virginia International Raceway once. I don't really remember, uh, but I think I was told that or something or other. Uh, if I find the video, I'll put it in the description, but if not, then don't worry. Either way, starting towards the middle. Jeez, alright then. Man, I wish low mount spoilers or chassis mount spoilers were a thing in this game. Just trying to get past. I mean, yeah, it looks a bit stupid without the offset, but honestly, I don't mind it. At least that's just my personal opinion. I didn't break enough. RIP! Uh, now keep in mind, I didn't really test this car, nor have I ever driven it before, even normally. So this is completely different to me. Uh, sadly, this week, uh, won't be any Assetto Corsa, mainly because my dad has been... Well, that my dad's had me working all week and due to the job I'm pretty much standing most of the time in very uncomfortable boots which is not good and now the bottom of my feet are pretty much hurting all the time yeah it's a bit annoying because I can't now I can't even play on the wheel at all because of that uh, that and well my back still hurts whenever I use it Still waiting to get a proper setup on that. Good god, I know I've been waiting a while. Either way, hopefully that comes soon. Uh, next week, most likely, will have a set of course, as I do finish school this week. Uh, yep, this is my last week of year 10, kinda, not really. Tomorrow, Monday, is when, well, we'll be given our results back from the exams. I'm not really expecting much, I'll be honest. Yeah, obviously I want to get good scores, but if I don't, it's probably for the subjects that I care least about, so we'll have to see about that, right? This car is doing alright, I guess. I mean, I wish it was a different track, a little more of a flowing track maybe, like Maple Valley once again, that would've been nice. Uh, I did keep stock motor, for those who did see. Oh, please keep that. Ugh. Kept it. Jeez. This is a very tight section. Honestly, you don't expect it until you're actually into it. Oh. Something just happened to that guy. Now, even just racing around here is tight, let alone drifting good. Like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if it was the, f the outer layout, like the one where you actually use most of this nicer tarmac, I wouldn't have minded that as much. But because you're going into the infield, it's a bit difficult. So, I mean, yeah, breaking points are a bit off and whatnot, plus this is literally the first time I am, I am ever drifting on this track. At least it's not at night, right? I seem to be doing pretty well, mainly because this isn't an easy track, and that guy just left. Okay then. Uh, but mainly because this isn't an easy track, and yeah, that's probably why I'm winning at the moment. Throw it in from a while back, get the momentum going, why not? Oh, there we go. I mean, once again, yeah, this thing could have done with a bit more offset. That would have been really nice. But, I mean, yeah, once again, it's turn 10. This isn't like Ghost Games or whatever with the... Not Ghost Games. Uh, who are the people that are currently making Need for Speeds? I don't know. Either way, whoever they are, they're not them. 
All right, they don't listen to the Drift community or most of the car community. They kind of just focus on the newer generations, which is a bit bother, a bit of bother. I mean, one day we can hope for offset, but probably won't be for a while. I mean, yeah, it's great to have body kits, but I mean, I've wanted offset as an actual tuning option longer than actual proper like rocket bunny kits. Cause I mean this car normally looks amazing in real life. Like with this, not this exact body kit, but like this kind of similar style. Just drifting, just anywhere in Japan, especially. Like with the low spoilers and whatnot. They do tend to look amazing, but that, that's like sitting flush with like the fenders and all that. This game doesn't do that, so probably won't ever get the satisfaction of doing that unless it's in real life. Interesting. There we go. I got an alright line through there. Uh, but as I was saying earlier, no Assetto Corsa for this week, so it's pretty much just gonna stay all fools of content. A bit disappointed. Uh, but nothing I can do, my feet really do hurt at the moment, and using a wheel is probably not in my best interest. God, this t corner just shuts down so quickly. I'm not really ready for it. That and the boost in this car does kick in quite a late. I mean, it's a lot of boost. 35 pounds of boost in an SL20, that's pretty insane. But it kicks in way late, so it's a bit difficult to drift it around this track. Especially, I mean, I have to keep it in second. Normally I would have loved third. I mean, yeah, third gear's alright here, but it really doesn't have the torque to keep it sliding. I don't know. I mean, I, I had plenty of more. Okay, he just died. I mean, I had more room for upgrades. I had a lot of leeway, but I didn't really want to go crazy with the power. Kind of just keep it an even medium. So, like, 500 horsepower was alright to me. Plus, a, yeah, a bit more of a Japan kind of thing. I did want to keep a low horsepower car. But because I'm going into a drift hoppers, people have high horsepower vehicles and whatnot. So it's not very easy. Oh, okay, I've just screwed that one up royally. Eek. Not good. Alright, anyways. Oh, okay, I was looking at the car. Bad time to look at a car. I think if I had extended the gears a bit... I don't know, it's a bit tough to tell. I think it might just be the power deficiency. Or the low end torque deficiency that's causing issues with this car. Definitely for a longer, like, flowing track. Maybe like Catalonia Short, like the very short one. Where it's like three corners or whatever. Maybe that track definitely this thing would have done well. Uh, that, Bernie's Alps maybe. And you know, those kind of higher speed ones. Because I can definitely tell this thing's a lot more controlled at high speeds than it is at low end speeds. Oh god. Plus it does grip pretty well. I mean, even through these corners, it's doing really well not to slide too far out. In fact, I don't even think it's sliding out unless it's like pushing the car a lot. It doesn't slide out whatsoever, which is impressive. I mean, you don't get that with many cars. Then again, what, what less can you expect from an amazing chassis like this one? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it's a nice car. Wish it could have had a bit more offset. A bit, a lot more offset. Uh, but nothing I can do, sadly, I don't know. I mean, I wish I could have changed around body kits with the Rocket Bunny kit pre-loot or pre-thing. The pre-layout of the Rocket Bunny kit and then change like the bumpers and the spoiler. I mean, I know I can change the spoiler, obviously, but like the bumpers and all that. That would have been really nice, cool feature for them to add in. Come on, turn 10, please. <laughs> Just do it. Do it for the drifters. I mean, yeah, um, it is confirmed, not confirmed, but it has been leaked that Forza Horizon 4 might go to Japan. So maybe it's a call out to the Drifters, I'm not sure. I almost just killed that guy. I mean, I'm hoping that it's a call out to the Drifters, or else, well, why else are you going to Japan, right? Specifically Tokyo, I'm pretty sure, or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but either way, that's going to do it all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you guys didn't like it, the dislike button. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to quickly just save this so I can actually, like, get a proper thumbnail for once. And, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all for your boy. And peace out.